Hey everybody, this is Robin Bush and I'm here today taking a video to talk to you about the reason why I have started a healthy weight loss journey. Um, I did have some problems in my childhood and that's started, um, that's where my weight gains uh, stemmed from. I um, ended up, you know, being an emotional eater from you know just different things that I didn't know as a child how to handle and um, so my whole life I kind of struggled maybe when I was very very little maybe around seven I wasn't overweight but then as the years went on I um, became overweight and I for some reason felt like I had to eat to comfort myself or to um, feel good about myself so um, that's where my weight gains started my weight problems um, it could be somewhat hereditary too um, we do have like some family members that were overweight and they um, all like had to go to Weight Watchers or different things to to be fit and it doesn't come natural to everyone to be skinny or be thin and be fit so um, we really were in our family we have to work at it so that's one of the reasons why but um, and then um, I became diagnosed with diabetes type 2 and um, my A1C was at 10.7 which is pretty high. The normal is like 6, you know, 6, 6.2 and lower. So um, I had to do something to try to, you know, get healthy and that's the natural physical reasons why I started this weight loss journey and um, then also um, there was a spiritual reason why I started this weight loss journey and my spiritual reason why as um, being a Christian and I gave my life to Christ I figured you know um, when you're in the world if you you know believe you know that there's a difference in living for the Lord and not <laughs> um, so if you're not living for the Lord you're kind of like a world in the world and um, of the world so I made a change and I became a uh, Christian I wanted to be Christ like Christian means Christ like so um, I changed things in my life to become a better person and um, in this journey I figured you know the obvious things that you you know drink too much or anything you do to an excess could be a sin or you know just treating people bad or doing you know bad things um, so I gave those kind of things up and it wasn't an overnight thing but one thing at a time so in the spiritual uh, reason why I uh, wanted to do this weight loss journey is because I feel like um, if you want to live for Lord and be an example you should be able to control what you eat you know what do I look like saying you know I'm trying to be Christ like but I can't control what I eat I just overeat and I you know indulge because I, I don't know how to handle my problems so anyway I just began to seek spiritually for the Lord to help me um, to be able to not use food as a comfort because that's what exactly what I was doing for any problems I had any emotions you know sometimes it could be even good that you um, celebrate and you um, just eat so um, every day I woke up and I just all I thought about was what was I going to eat for today so anyway um, so through prayer I had asked the Lord to help me also um, to be an example to others that I can control what I eat and I don't need to um, have those things for comfort some people drink for comfort some people smoke there's different things that you do to comfort yourself or sometimes to cover up things so anyway that's the spiritual side of it and the natural side so anyway and then um, the other thing is for my family because um, you know as I'm losing weight and stuff and you know my granddaughter she was like seven years old and she saw me struggling she might have been six and close to seven she saw me struggling up and down with my weight loss and one day we were cleaning in the attic and um, I might have been at the a higher weight and you know maybe huffing and puffing or struggling or just I don't know what triggered her to look at me and with tears in her eyes she said Mima I cannot imagine what it would be like here without you and for some reason you know she had that fear of like what if Mima's 
you know, ha not healthy and she dies. And then life would be horrible without her. So um, that inspired me to also want to care for myself for those that love me and want to see me live a long time. So that's not always in our control, but we can make a difference. So that's the reason why I'm struggling so hard to lose weight, get healthy, exercise, you know, get off all these pills for diabetes and high blood pressure and high cholesterol. And um, through diet and exercise, um, over the first year I tried, which was the beginning of 2015 in January, I made up my mind to seriously try that I'm going to go for this. You know, this is it. I'm given everything I have and this is what I did. So for the year of 2015, I did lose 50 pounds. And then I got to this little plateau, which lasted a good um, eight months. I got very discouraged in like June, July, and I, my grandkids were here from Arizona, and I just felt like, you know, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of trying to eat healthy. I just want to be able to eat whatever I want, like a lot of people can, and not gain weight, you know, but it doesn't work that way for me. So anyway, um... I went two months, I kind of went crazy, and I just had fun with the kids while they were here, and we ate chicken nuggets, french fries, McDonald's, you know, we just, I just ate whatever I want. Well, in the two months, I gained 15 pounds back, and um, that fear came over me like, I just worked for a whole year to get 50 pounds off, and I am not going to gain all that back. And it came on so fast. And so I did seek some more help, like through the Bariatric Weight Loss Center. I didn't have intentions of surgery, but maybe um, medication or something. Um, I didn't do well on the medication. I tried it for like seven days. That was it. I couldn't, I just didn't feel good. So anyway, got my mind made up and even uh, thank God for the Beach Body Team Beach Body Health Bet, which, you know, they had a big pot of $1.6 million and you know, you don't get a lot of money or anything. That's not the point. You shouldn't have to be paid to, um, to want to be healthy and and and, uh, and live a better lifestyle. But it was just the challenge itself that, you know, I I was determined that I was going to do this. I was going to, you know, do my exercise three days a week and drink my shake five days a week, my Shakeology, um, and I stayed at it for the whole month. It was a whole month thing that we did, and, you know, they say it takes 21 days to make a good habit, or a bad habit, I guess, either way, but uh, that was over 21 days, and I stayed with it, and I tell you what a difference, um, just to be able to stick with it, because I've always started a program, never finished as far as exercise goes, even the diets, every time the clean eating challenge was over, whether it was 5 days or 21 days, I was done. And then I started eating the way I used to eat. So it was like up and down. You lose 9 pounds, 10 pounds, and then this, the next, you know, you're off of it for a week or two, and you're, I almost gained all that back again. So it was just up, down, up, down, up, down. But um, with this challenge, I stuck through. Well, actually, I'm still uh, I'm into week six of my exercise program, and I have two more weeks to go. But I have not given up, and I've exercised six days a week. If I missed a day, I did two the next day. So um, I rested one day and I exercised six days. Um, I've joined every clean eating challenge from that four week one. Then now we're on a 21 day one right after that. And in the midst of that one, we have a five day challenge that actually gives you a shopping list and menus. So I don't have to worry about what I'm going to eat for a week. I, I have a plan. So planning and prepping. Um, you know, I think this is probably way longer than I needed to. But I just wanted to share that because... I see people say so much, you encourage me so much to get up off the couch and do some exercises or, you know, every time I go to put something in my mouth that I shouldn't eat that I know it's going to make me feel bad, um, I think about you and I don't eat it. So um, I just wanted to take the time. Um, we actually have a Win It Wednesday challenge to tell our why and I have done it before. But this was a little bit deeper and just sharing with you because somebody else might be out there struggling with the same thing. Um, and the only other reason why I want to tell you that I have not given up yet is because I'm not done yet. <laughs> I got more to go. I've lost, you know, the 50 pounds and then I've gained and now I've lost again and I'm pretty much back um, where I was when I lost the 50 pounds. So I have more work to do 
and I have a family that loves me and I love them and I want to just do everything I can to um, prolong my life as much as I can to be healthy to feel good when you exercise and you eat right you feel great you have a little more energy you know I remember eating junk all the time and I was always tired and it's such a vicious cycle of feeling tired feeling weighed down you know feeling sick so now I wake up and I say I actually feel like I'm awake when I'm awake so and I'm not tired so I like what it how it makes me feel I feel good in my body and um, the exercise just makes you have more energy to keep going throughout the day so it's worth it yeah sometimes you really have to push I remember just a couple days ago I'm like I really had to push for that exercise because my mind was made up I wasn't going to do it that day but I said I have to if you don't do it you know there's things that are important in your life and you just have to make the time you know like they say schedule an appointment if your exercise should be that important that you can uh, make an appointment for uh, other things you know that are important for you like a lunch date or um, to a movie or something fun or a vacation well schedule your workouts and take time to um, plan and prep your food it's a lot of work but um, I have my meals all done for tomorrow. I don't have to worry about anything. All I have to do is warm things up and grab it and go. So it's worth it to take that time um, and put it into your life. And that way you'll feel better and you'll look better. And your family will have hopefully some more time with you. So God bless you all. And thank you for listening. And that is my reason why I still have work to do. I can't give up yet. I haven't reached my goal and I got to get busy. So I'm not going to stop until I reach my goal and then still then you have maintenance. You just maintain. So it's a lot of work but it's worth it if you want to feel good. So God bless you. Have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll talk to you later. Bye.